All is in readiness. Brook is in. Oh, and it's a good ball first up. Arnold walks across the crease there. Good enough to tuck the bat behind. Goes through to the keeper. There's no run. Demons look like they're well and truly out of this pitch now. There's been much more even bounce as the day's gone on. Brooks in again and Coco's forward, hitting him on the pads. Oh, and it's put played away on the leg side by Daniel Arnold and they will get a single. As all good swing bowlers do. He's in once again now to Arnold. That's short and wide and that's crashed into the fence. That is a six. No wicket for 11. Midway through the second over and that's through the gap. And oh, Justin Brooks fields well. Justin Brooks saves a certain four there. Brennan's 11 look like they are up for the fight here. This fouls in again. It's short and wide and it's Coe pulled away for four. One ball to come in the second over. Fouls in once again. It's four this time and it's six. He's hit it for six. Daniel Arnold off to a flying start here. If they ever needed him to stand up and take some wickets, as he's right now. And geez, by golly, does he bowl a good ball first up to Arnold. As Brendan's in once more. Arnold's forward and he plays late on a ball that looked like it could have almost got through the gate there. How do you even not have put the bat down? As Brendan's in once more and he's forward and he watches that go play. Plays inside the line. As Brendan's in once more and it's a good ball and it's clipped away on the leg side by Arnold. Showing his class here. Giving him some encouragement for his bowler. And that's short. Oh, wow. And that's a great length ball. Arnold's eyes lit up. He tried to pull that away on the onside. This momentum's in once more. And it's a fuller ball. Watchful here again. And, geez, Brendan just makes the, Brendan just makes the save there. I think it's going to be okay. No, it's not out. The dramatics have taken over. He's coming up. Might be time for Brendan to still on the tough and up tape, I believe. <laughs> Mendham will be in. Three balls to come left in the over. Arnold's forward and he punches that through and that's four. Score races to 30. Mendham's in once more and it's short outside the off stump. It's cut away. Well fielded by Bolling and he's done a mischief to himself too. And geez, by geez, that would have been close. But it looks like Bolling is down on the field too. The tough and up tape. It's been called for, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but he looks in serious distress here. I don't know if he'll be able to continue. Evades the electric wickets. Hayden's in once more, and that's punched yeah. through the field for four by Arnold. You just can't bowl there to Daniel Arnold. Hayden's in once more, and it's another full ball. And he whips, tries to whip it away. Oh, Merrifield pushes at it. But it gets through for another boundary. His crease. His bowling's in once more, and he's flatter through it. Oh, and he's punched away on the leg side. He punches that away on the leg side for four. His bowling's in once more, and Arnold's watchful, and he's having a swing. Oh, he stopped him! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Brendan Scott has come up with a power play with a stumping for Josh Bolling. And that is great. It's very well fielded by Wood. Very well fielded. You feel that their energy is a little bit low in comparison to the green machine. Energy is low for the blue. And he, and he smacked it for a maximum six runs. The 50's up there. And it's a great delivery by Troy. It is an absolute great delivery. And it is a great strike. That's textbook from Joel Wojcik. Absolutely textbook. And that is an absolute beauty. Cutting them straight in between them. Seven wickets in hand. 
And yeah, oh, it is just Lovely. it is just beautiful cricket by Joel Wojcik here. Yes. It was a matter of time. It wasn't too wide, but he strayed slightly wide. And again, uh, and he strays a bit full. Oh, and again, same ball, same shot, but it's gone the full distance for six runs. Joel Wojcik could possibly shit his pants. Oh, and again, you can't get too full to Joel Wojcik. Oh, and he's, he's put one through the gap. And Wojcik clean bowled. By a fantastic straight ball. This comes in again. Yeah, and he's strayed. And Joey has cut that for four runs. Mendham to continue to Azar. He's in now to back of length delivery. Oh, he's knocked him over. There's still hope here for the Blues. That's the third wicket down. Mendham picks up his second for the over. Azar is dismissed for four as he was in the first innings. It's three for 85. Scott to bowl to Dean in the 18th over. He's in now to back of a length delivery and Dean guides this onto the fence and will move through for a single. Scott in once again to Dean. In now and he's fighting the Yorker. Oh, and it's narrowly missed that leg stump. It just does not look like it's going to be the Blues day. Scott in again to Harry Dean. In now and this one's a full toss going for the Yorker again. It's punched down the ground for four. They're within two strikes now of victory now the Green Machine. Three for 92. Bowling to bowl the 19th over of the innings. In over the wicket here to Dean, who rocks back on the back foot and punches it down the ground for another boundary. Merrifield into Dean, who's bowled well on his return to Brennan's 11's lineup. Oh, and it's another beauty, which just beats the off stump. It is not their day today. Young Damien Mendham to go around the wicket here to Dean. They're just one strike away here. The green machine, not anymore. There it is. The Green Machine come from behind to win the Test match. They were behind for so much of this match, but a brilliant second innings. Firstly with the ball, and then finished off with the bat. Sees the Green Machine win pretty comprehensively in the end by five wickets to claim the Test Series title.